so what's going on you guys welcome to salty reflections thanks for coming on a crabbing trip with me oliver my wife stephanie videoing for you guys out on the waters of beaufort south carolina we're recreational crabbing we're about to pull four crab pots with you guys that we set out four days ago that were baited with a bycatch that we catch out trawling if you like trawling and stuff like that also check those videos out but here we go here's crab pot number one we're right up on it you guys and to all our subscribers thanks you guys for coming back along got a bite <laughs> oh, oh. Ooh, I see some legs. We got a few crabs. A couple of nice ones in here. And today, guys, I did bring two baskets with me. One to dump my pots in and one to put my keepers in. I got a trusty measuring gauge for our crabs here in South Carolina. They have to be five inches point to point and an insulated glove to handle the crabs with. bait compartment is empty completely empty no bait and if you take a look at our crab pots they have this funnel system in them with a bait well in the center four entrances with heavy rebar on the bottom to keep our pots right where we want them in there but it's beauty to come back we're gonna try to go through these crab pots, uh, as quickly as we can with you guys because look off in the distance <laughs> a storm we've had storms every day lately this is gonna be a nice keeper good hard body crab should be full of meat if you ever pick those crabs up guys and that shell is soft down in this area or you feel a softness most of the time those crabs they're not going to be full of meat they probably have just molded and they just sat and filled out yet so that's a nice keeper this little guy right here he's cutting it really really close here but he's touching he's a keeper Another yeah. nice crab. And we got one more right here that's looking pretty good. That's a keeper. And we got one, two, three, four, five that are not going to make the cut. Sort of small, guys. Always check the size limit in the area that you're crabbing. Here in South Carolina, like I was saying, our crabs have to be five inches. I know you guys down in Florida don't have a size limit so always check the rules and the regulations for your crab pot crabbing needs in your area we got three keepers so far next crab pot gonna be right out in jenkins creek right here in beaufort south carolina and we're about two or three hundred yards away so ride along with us right there and let's go check them
And as you can see, our crab pot buoys are yellow. And that is what we need here in South Carolina. Recreational crabbers need to have their pots marked with yellow buoys. And our bank department is empty again. We might have had a little better luck if we wouldn't have let the bait run out. And I get questions, you know, from people asking, you know, how long do you let your pot soak? Well, we don't have a set time. We just uh, kind of bring them out here. We may leave them, leave them out a couple hours and sometimes a couple hours is all it takes we could have enough to eat you know just in that couple hour period sometimes it takes longer just depending on the weather and the temperatures of the water in our area this guy here ain't gonna make it he's four seven eights look at the barnacles on him and stuff and he's a heavy crab it's a shame that we can't keep him because he is full of meat. I can tell by the weight of it. Another one that's not going to make it. Our area is getting crab very heavily right now. Lots of crabbers. And look at this one. I mean, he's just a hair off. Wow. So, we do, like I was saying, there's, I know, at least three or four different commercial crabbers that are crabbing this same area and I'm sure all of these crabs are, are being caught and culled. Culled meaning the same thing that we're doing. We're culling crabs. We're trying to find those keepers. Small one. A runner. And look at there, another one. If you give that crab there another couple weeks, probably he's going to be a keeper, but not today. Not in this boat. Still just three. He's not a keeper. He's not staying in this boat, right, Steph? No. We want crabs, not tickets. There's two pots. And we're on to the third. to me and you know he was kind of curious and looking at us kind of funny you know thinking hey these, these guys may be pulling our pots and, yeah, they definitely came by us and checked us out and even stopped and said that they had a couple pots that are, are missing so look i'm just a recreational crab right here i'm just, i'm not out here trying to make that big money off these crabs i'm trying to catch some crab to, to eat Probably got way, way, way too much rope on this one. But the reason being, guys, these pots can get moved around in our area. With the tides, and if they get in a deep spot, you need to have a lot of rope on them so you can find your pots and the rain is coming. I can see it dripping in the water. We got one more after this one. We got to get through them fast. This pot's full. Full of crab. Full of crab, but are they keepers? That's the question. They ain't keepers. At least they're going to grow up to be keepers one day. We're trying to keep the population real right here in South Carolina. We're not looking for them little small crab. We're looking for them big crab. Look at that pot full of crab. Wow. That's what we needed right there for a comeback, maybe. If 
you man these days of being caught on the water are getting ridiculous <laughs> it's these afternoon showers here in south carolina so what i'm gonna do i'm looking since there's so many in here i want to go for the big guys this guy's a keeper undersized that one's gonna make it uh, that's a keeper so there's no need for me to pick every one of these crabs up that's why I started with the big one small crab and Oh, step is pulling out a nice one here, I believe. I was about to dump it. What you think, Steph? You know the rest of them are... So we got, off. including the ones you already seen me go through, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen little crabs right here. And look at it back in there. How beautiful. Bright and sunny over to our right. And got this cloud coming in behind us. A little rain okay. shower. Watch these little fellas. As long as there's no thunder and lightning under this cloud, we're okay. And that's how real crabbers do it. You respect the rules and the regulations in your area and you go out there and you keep keepers just like the rest of the people that's got to do it. Going right straight across the river, ain't even 50 yards, guys. Well, at least we're up to seven now. Seven nice ones. And I'm hungry. Yeah, that was a good comeback. I'm real hungry for some blue crab. Compared to what the first two were. You will make me some of them crab cake stuff. I'll pick them. You're a fast picker, so if you pick them, you will. Yeah, I'm pretty fast at it. I got it. I got it. Load it Come on. Come on up here. Oh, look at all this stuff on our pot. We got some nice things in here. Oh, look at that big stone look crab. Look at that big stone crab. Man, oh, he's only beauty. got one claw already, though. And we'll explain that about the one claw. As soon as I get him out, I want to show him to you guys and I want to tell you about this one claw stone crab. Look at that rusty one there. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's going to be loaded with me. <coughs> so, I'm going to start with sorting these blue crab out real quick. We, we don't have to measure this one, guys. He's a big boy. He almost escaped. He's a... Look at him. A beauty. Break this gauge back out, just to be sure. Keep him. Small crab. Small one. Four and seven eighths. Four and seven eighths. Why? Check this out. He's trying to escape too. Man, I hope this is a keeper. He's so rusty and pretty. He's a keeper. Beauty. Look at him. Another keeper? Oh man, we got enough for supper for sure. 
That's what I'm talking about. Small, small, and another small one. Little female. See the little triangular apron on the bottom? That's how you can tell the difference between males and females. This big boy here, see that pointed apron on the bottom? See that triangular apron? That's your female. The big boy is your male. Now back to this guy right here. And I wanted to grab this guy really, really quick because this claw right here is very, very strong. They have way more pressure in their claws than what a blue crab has. There's been stories I've heard that is so ridiculous you wouldn't even believe it. But it was a story that my nephew and I like to tell it. Him and his dad was out crabbing and they said one of these guys got loose in the boat and all of a sudden the boat wouldn't crank, right? So they carried a boat to the shop and the guy at the shop, he says, well, darn, your battery cable going to the motor has been cut in half. And they swear by it that one of these guys actually pinched that cable and cut it off. That's our story and we're sticking to it or that's his story and now I'm using it. But anyhow, this is a stone crab in our area. And I'm sure you guys are aware of stone crabs in Florida. I think that they can pull both of the claws off here in South Carolina on a stone crab from this knuckle right here to this point right here needs to be two and three quarter inches. So you say, well, is this a keeper? Well, not really because of the fact that he doesn't have a second claw. In South Carolina, we can only keep one claw off the stone crab if it's big enough and legal size limit. So this one right here is definitely going to be released right here in front of you guys. I'm not playing no games. I'm a real crabber out here and I respect the environment and that is the way I want to be. And I respect each one of you in your comments and I would like for you guys to hit the like and subscribe button for us today. I brought you out here and we've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve keepers. A dozen crab right there. God is good. God is good. He's always good. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys coming along with us. It's raining now. But hey, I wanted to make this video with you. And thank you for coming along. Have a good afternoon. Give Steph a big like on video, guys.